Hi, welcome to the Wurdenberg Family Farm. We are Don and Brenda. We'd like for you to join us this evening as we take a candlelight Christmas tour of our 180 year old farmhouse. Every farmhouse needs a big front porch. And we are very fortunate to have a wonderful porch. Most of the time when the weather's good, this is where we sit, right here. Two old people in their rocking chairs. <laughs> a lot of times we'll have dinner right out there. Mm -hmm. And breakfast some mornings too, because the sun rises over there. Yeah, so uh, we also bought this cabinet right here, an antique, and it is fortunately for Christmas. It's a beautiful green and red, so it looks great at Christmas time. We actually found that on Facebook Marketplace. That's a great place to find things. Well, now you see the other side of the porch. And this is our farm table. And we actually have had this farm table for our whole married life, over 42 years. We had no idea that we'd actually live on a farm, but boy, it sure comes in handy. Yeah, and it's perfect. When the families eat out here, the kids will sit at this table and eat. And it just, it looks cute too. So yeah. perfect. I think it's time to go inside. Come on in. Well, somebody else wants to go on the tour with us. Buddy came to visit. Come here. You want to go on a tour too, huh? He's our farm cat. But when we're up on the porch, he's up here with us. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't go inside, so I'm getting cold. Let's go in. All right. This part of the farmhouse was built in 1840. And this part is the big eat-in kitchen. Well, Donnie is really into bells, <laughs> as you can see. Go ahead, ring your bell. Well, I bought this for the grandchildren, but I think I play with it more than they do. I think you're right. Doesn't that just remind you of Christmas? It's perfect for the holiday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot to show you, there's a bell out in front of the house that we just picked up last week from an antique store. Yeah. And our one granddaughter likes it because it has a horse on it. But yeah. I don't think Donnie can pass up a bell. <laughs> Welcome to our family room. Now this part is not old. The previous owners actually built this addition on the end. And it is our living room, dining room, great room. When the family comes, this is where we hang out. Now the fireplace here, when we first bought this place four years ago, wasn't the most attractive. And Donnie gave it a total makeover. Donnie and my son worked together. And I, I love how it turned out now, it's charming. And the wall behind Brenda shows the original timbers on the 1840 house, which um, has brickwork between the timbers. So this is a very quiet house, isn't it? Yeah, when the wind blows, we hear nothing. Mm -hmm. And then there's Brenda's Christmas tree. And that has a lot of homemade ornaments. I wanted to make it more farmy and more country looking, and it turned out really nice. It's beautiful. I did a video showing how I made some of the ornaments. That was fun.
Well, now we're in the dining part of the great room, and this part is a blast when the whole family is here. The leaves on this table open up, and you can see like 12 or 14 people here. So when the whole crew is here, a lot of times the adults are in here, and kids are out in the kitchen just going crazy. And this table, Donnie actually made. He can do all kinds of things. And uh, it actually was from the wood in the um, forest where we used to have a cottage. And it actually has big leaves on the end that open up. So it gets really big. And it actually, he made it for the cottage, but when we moved here, it fit here perfectly. As did this cabinet. He also made this. He made this for the cottage, and it was right by where there's stairs going up in the cottage. But when we bought the farmhouse, I said, that is gonna fit here perfectly. And it did, and I love it. And with grandkids, we have to come up with creative ways to hide, hide toys. Down here's the Barbie box. So the kids know where the toys are and they can get them out anytime and they know how to put them away. Welcome to our parlor. This side of the house was actually built in 1880. So it's not quite as old as the other half. But this room is just a really fun room. I have my piano in here, a little tree, and the grandkids actually like to come in here and play sometimes. Welcome to the upstairs. This is our bedroom, and it's not the oldest bedroom in the house because this one was actually part of the 1880 house. So it's old, but not quite as old as the other two. But I love it when it's decorated for Christmas. Yes, I even decorated my bathroom. Now this is one of the three bedrooms on the second floor, and this is one that our grandchildren stay in when they stay over. And Look at like... that beautiful quilt on the wall. Now, Brenda made that probably 20 years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. But the grandkids like having a Christmas tree in their room. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. And this, we call this the blue room because it's blue and it leads right into the pink room. Welcome to the pink room. And as we said earlier, this is one of the 1840 bedrooms. So people have been sleeping in this room for almost 200 years. And actually, a lot of old farmhouses, bedrooms connect. This door right here leads to our bedroom. It ends up being a circle. You can get from one room to the other. And on the dresser here in the pink room, we have special pictures. Since it's the grandchildren's room, we have pictures of their parents, our children, from high school. They get a kick out of seeing their parents as young high schoolers.
So did you like our old farmhouse? Me personally, I've always wanted to live in an old house and I thoroughly enjoy living in a house that's 180 and 140 years old. There's just a character, a charm, a depth, something about it that we didn't have in our new suburban home. You know, we've enjoyed working on this home together. We're here 24 seven working on projects, but more than that, thinking about just in four and a half years, the times we've had our family here for the celebrations, you know, the joys and sorrows and life. And that got me thinking that this house is over 180 years. There have been people, farm families lived here and they've celebrated life and Christmas for all those years. There has been a lot of life lived in this house. So we tried to, when we decided to do an evening tour, we tried to look back, use uh, natural lighting that would have been available at the time. We have very simple decorations. Uh, Brenda crocheted um, ornaments for the tree. And dried some oranges and picked some pine cones. Very simple things that would have been available at that time. Mm -hmm. There was also, there wasn't an entertainment music. Um, if you wanted to have music, you would sing together or somebody would play a piano or a guitar. Um, so we tried to bring those elements in, just thinking about what Christmas would have been like mm -hmm. 180 years ago, before the Civil War. That's a long time ago. Yeah. We can't even begin to imagine. I mean, hopefully we gave just a hint of what it might have been like. Yeah, but without the central heat and lighting and entertainment. Indoor plumbing. <laughs> all those Hard things. to fathom. Yeah. You know, we've also enjoyed, we have two sets, of nativity sets in the house mm -hmm. here, a beautiful porcelain one, and I think you had one. Yeah, the old one in the kitchen is one that my parents actually used when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. So it's been around for a long time. <laughs> but we thought as a family, because we're on a farm, we have a barn, that we would do a special time and reenactment uh, mm -hmm. of the, the manger scene. Yeah, and when our grandson was very young, very, like a month old. Oh, baby, yeah. We took the whole family out to the barn. And we laid him in a manger. The cows were right across the way. And we read the Bible story, the yeah. Christmas story from the Bible. Yeah. And it really made it feel real. Yeah. I mean, it, it brought it home in a different way. So we hope you'll just take a few minutes to share that time with us and um, just in, enjoy the setting and try to picture not the beautiful porcelain nativity, but the scene from 2,000 years ago with the, the barn, the smells, the, you know, the animals, and the cold weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really brings, it makes it real. Yeah. But well, hopefully you enjoyed the tour and you'll enjoy our real living nativity. And have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas.